you guys have any plans so far with the second one? Have you started at all? <laughs> no, we've been writing yeah, stuff, yeah. Uh, uh, jamming, demoing stuff. We actually have a couple of demos that um, tonight we're going to head to Nashville. We're meeting with Lincoln Parish. Uh, he was the guitar player for Casey Elephant. Right, you did a little bit with him last album. No, actually, we did the last album all ourselves. Uh, we produced okay. it, we recorded and everything. But the next album, we want to do it with a producer. And so, so we thought, you know, with him recently exiting Cage the Elephant, and he wants to get into producing, so we thought, well, it sounds good on paper. But we, we won't know until we actually meet him and, you know, let him listen to the new stuff. He's heard the old stuff and he likes it a lot. Mm -hmm. And so the new stuff is is kind of, um, I mean, it, it sounds like noise heads, but it's it's bigger. It's you know, it's bigger. It's more ambitious. So we want him to listen to it, see what he thinks, and then hear his ideas. You know, because we might meet him, and he might say, "Oh, I want to change this and that," and we're like, eh, you know." But uh, we're just going to meet with him first and see how that goes. So we're meeting with him Sunday, uh, so that kind of start the process of the second. What album. do you hope to get out of, if anything, with this collaboration, if it happens? I, I hope that he pulls the best out of us, you know, because we're all perfectionists ourselves. So on the first album, you know, we recorded it, we produced it ourselves. But for the next one, I really want someone else, you know, with a different set of ears. I mean, because we're the only ones that heard the last album before anybody else did. So I want somebody else with another set of ears to hear us and be like, you know, let's, you know, let's bring this out. Let's, you know, just have a different uh, set of eyes on it. So hopefully it can, I don't know, I, I'd like us to just really have a kick ass second album. So. Yeah. <laughs> you guys, you were on the top charts with your old album with Pearl Jam, Arctic Monkeys, all that huge alternative group. What do you guys think puts the noise heads up there? Is it one song or is it your sound? What do you think specifically puts the guys who like to make noise right up there? Yeah. Uh, with Pearl Jam and them? Uh, yeah. yeah. I mean, I guess it's just, I mean, it's, it's, uh, I mean they're heavily, you know, uh, heavy influences on us as far as the style and everything goes and um, I mean to tell you the truth, I mean this 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 whole thing is it's it's all a mixed project, you know, as far as when we came together as in, you know, like this is this is what I have in mind and kinda of build around that and uh, um, and I think we, well, we all bring a lot to it. I bring you know bring our own styles and everything to it. The second album is gonna be even more so, you know, where we're gonna be, you know, spreading out the writing where Nick had it was heavy Nick writing on that but um, I mean, as far as the you know the style just ended up that way you know obviously we're influenced by a lot of those bands and mm -hmm. like Pro Jam and Soundgarden but you know, and and then, a, lot, a lot of different bands I mean yeah. on, our, on the way up here I mean we, we jammed the Cat <laughs> Stevens for like four hours yeah. and then we like jammed on CNC Music Factory and yeah. some like yeah. 90s techno so really yeah. it's a, a good variety of things but um, I, I think you know with noise heads there's um, there's a there's a desire for bands now that I mean because a lot of bands or a lot of a lot of people that are that are our age you know are like listening to Nirvana and they're getting into Pearl Jam and they're like really especially like with YouTube now it's so easy to go on and just check out all these bands like you know like Weezer I just recently like I mean I've always liked Weezer but recently I was just like I'm gonna check out all their stuff and I listen to every one of their albums in a day. Which is amazing because you think in the 90s, I mean, obviously you had to wait, you know, and, and you had to buy all the albums, but now it's just so different. But I think there's a big desire for, you know, for what we do now. And so I think that's just how that worked out. And so people that are listening to Pearl Jam and Nirvana today are picking up on us because, you know, we have similar influences. But yeah. So sound wise, you have influences like Soundgarden and Pearl Jam. What about lyrically? What has influenced you guys, or lyrically influences your new your new album? Right. Um, lyrically, um, I, don't know. I mean, really, I, I've always liked Chris Cornell as a songwriter. Um, I mean, he's one of my favorite songwriters, and I've always liked his lyrics. Um, you know, he kind of um, he kind of talks in circles, but he he, he has a way of uh, being progressive with his lyrics, and he's got really interesting. You know, ideas on you know just life and everything. I don't know the way he talks about it. It's not I, my big thing is I, I hate music that's well. I hate lyrics that are literal. 